Hey, what's up? I'm Alexander Miller, writer for Battleship Pretension and Film Inquiry, and you are back at The Trailer Project. Today, we are doing something a little different. We are covering the trailer for a film I'm not sure if I like or not. And that film is Norman Mailer's 1986 directorial feature, Tough Guys Don't Dance. Um, I recently visited uh, the family this uh, holiday season, and I went to the local record store, and the gentleman behind the counter said, Alex... You need to buy this. It's just fucking crazy. There's nothing quite like it. Um, with a recommendation like that, who can resist? So, I popped it in the next day, and what I got was a whole mess of tawdry, neo-noir, pseudo-chiller, thriller, God knows what, a whole lot of Ryan O'Neill, Isabella Rossellini, Francis Fisher, um, Lawrence Tierney, and the one and only Wings Hauser. Um, all filmed in the glorious, uh, locale of Provincetown, Massachusetts. Um, very, very close to where I grew up, so I guess there's some nostalgia there. Anyhow, um, the trailer for this film is kind of insane, like the movie itself. So, without any further ado, a Canon Films production of a Norman Mailer film, Tough Guys Don't Dance. Well, this one does. All right, Canon Films. You see that logo, you know you're getting into something. I'm going to start this off by saying I don't like Norman Mailer. He might be a prolific writer, but he's a massive dick. Whether it's the misogyny, homophobia, or racism, yeah, no, not a fan. However, you kind of have to appreciate him appearing in this trailer, doing this self-deprecating thing. Now, this right here is just, like, internet meme gold right here. Um, somebody really needs to get on that. Oh, man! Oh God! Oh man! Something rotten has happened. <laughs> Lawrence Tierney, there. He is a trip. Um, I swear to God, this guy has to be like related to Michael Chiklis. My grandmother could do better. Um, Francis Farmer here. This is the best laugh you might ever hear in a movie. Funny. Story is a fucking mess. It's all over the place. Um, there's crosses, double crosses, flashbacks, flash forwards, and everyone's hopping in and out of each other's beds. And yet it jumps into these kind of weird moments where you have this like palatable feeling of this kind of classic New England gothic flavor. While a lot of neo-noirs are a critique of toxic masculinity, I think Norman Baylor loves his toxic masculinity, and that's um, what lends to a lot of the most uh, cringe-inducing parts of the film. But he has enough self-loathing to um, make a character of it. Now that is Wings Hauser. I feel like the best way to describe him is if, uh, you know, Gary Busey did Crystal Meth. And who do we have the honor of addressing? You never met the maniac. This is like if you mixed up, uh, this is like if you combined Stephen King, Brian De Palma, Tommy Wiseau, and David Lynch with a, with a 80s era soap opera. And wow, those titles look really cheap. So yeah, love it or hate it, for me I think it's both. Um, regardless, uh, the Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray is totally worth it. Check it out. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex from The Trailer Project, and we'll catch you later.